TCP and undermine the dynamism that used to characterize them. Rather than letting private enterprise blossom, Xi Jinping introduced his own China dream that can be summed up in two words, total control. That has had disastrous consequences. In contrast to Deng Xiaoping, Xi Jinping is a true believer in communism. Mao Zedong and Vladimir Lenin are his idols. At the celebration of the 100th anniversary of the CCP, he was dressed like Mao, while the rest of the audience was wearing business suits. According to the rules of succession established by Deng Xiaoping, Xi Jinping's term in power ought to expire in 2022. But she, inspired by Lenin, has gained firm control of the military and all other institutions of repression and surveillance. He has carefully choreographed the process that will elevate him to the level of Mao Zedong and Deng Xiaoping and make him ruler for life. To accomplish this, Xi Jinping had to reinterpret CCP's history to show that it will logically lead to appointing him for at least another term. Xi Jinping has many enemies. Although nobody can oppose him in public because he controls all the levers of power, there is a fight brewing within the CCP that is so sharp that it has found expression in various party publications. She is under attack from those who are inspired by Deng Xiaoping's ideas and want to see a, a greater role for private enterprise. Xi Jinping himself believes that he is introducing a system of governance that is inherently superior to liberal democracy. But he rules by intimidation, and nobody dares to tell him what he doesn't want to hear. As a result, it's difficult to shake his beliefs, even as the gap between his beliefs and reality have grown ever